of the, the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Hey, say, Jerry, <laughs> look out the window here. What for, Bump? You can't see anything. It's too dark. Well, you can see that automobile road alongside the tracks. Golly, it's all underwater. Mm -hmm. The lights from the windows of a train shine on it. <laughs> Looks almost like a river. More like a river than an automobile road. Well, this part of the country is famous for heavy rains. <laughs> Boy, I'm sure glad we missed that last one. Have you been noticing how the train rocks back and forth? Yeah, I sure have, Jerry. Well, that's because the roadbed's been underwater recently. Well, isn't it dangerous to travel over it? Oh, guess not, Jerry. You notice we're going along pretty slow. The engineer knows his road pretty well. He's not going to take any chances. But that telegram Mr. Randall got from the railroad company said it was dangerous. Well, that was referring to the bridge or trestle. It's an old one, and they're not so sure it'll hold our heavy load. Oh, when do we get to it? Well, let's see. Oh, about... Oh, it's half past now. Let's see. Oh, I guess we ought to be getting there pretty soon now. Mr. Randall said he was going to examine the bridge, and if it really is weak, he was going to find another way to get the circus to the next town. <laughs> yeah, that's just like Sam. He'll go through most anything not to disappoint folks, even take a chance of breaking part of his show. But how will we get across the bridge? I don't guess we'll get across if it won't hold a train, but he'll figure something out. He always does. We're slowing down now. Yes, here we are, Jerry. We must be getting close to that trestle. <laughs> Oh, come in. Yeah, what are you two doing up this hour? Come on, Mr. Randall. Well, Jerry here wanted to stay up and see what this weak bridge is all about, Sam. And you sure take a keen interest in this outfit, Jerry. I love the circus, Mr. Randall. It's my home and everything. And if it wasn't for you and the circus, I don't know where I'd be now. Well, I guess you'd be in an orphanage, Jerry. Yeah, that's where I'd be. Yeah, I'm glad to see you take such an interest in the show. I did the same thing when I was a boy. Oh, oh say, I guess we're up to that trestle, Sam. Oh, yeah. Well, I better get out there and look it over. Can I come with you, Mr. Randall? I bet you can. Come on. You want to go, Rags? <laughs> I'll see you later, Bob. Yeah, okay, Sam. Now, now watch your step out there, Jerry. Oh, I will. Bye. <laughs> How far are we from the next stand, Mr. Randall? Uh, something like 15 miles, Jerry. It's going to be a long haul if we can't cross this trestle. Oh, what do we do? I mean... How will we get to the next town? Well, that's something that uh, will have to be figured out. Coming, Rags? You, Mr. Randall? Uh, yeah. Quiet, Rags. I'm the brakeman. Oh, yeah. I don't think we'd better take a chance crossing here. I just had a talk with the engineer, and he doesn't think we can make it. Mm, I thought they were going to reinforce the trestle. Well, they had a crew on it until midnight. But the ground is so water-soaked, the pilings don't hit bottom. Mm. There's much can be done till the ground dries out. Well, that's that. Any other bridges across this river? There's a wagon bridge down yonder. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I see it. Just a wooden one. It's awful steep going down to it. Yeah, but I guess that's our only hope. Well, what do you mean, Mr. Randall? Well, we'll have to unload here and use the horses and the bull elephants to get us into town. I'll tell the engineer to uncouple them. Okay, I guess that's all we can do. Won't the elephants break the bridge? Well, we'll have to test it, Jerry. How? Well, come on, let's get Olson. You'll see. Jerry, come on, boys. <laughs> Will it take a long time to get to the town? Uh, even if we can get across the little bridge? Well, that's the trouble, Jerry. I'm afraid we'll be plenty late setting up this day. Then the matinee will be late starting, won't it? Yeah, sure will, but we'll be lucky to do a show at all. Now, here's Olson's car. Come on. 
Where's Rags? He's right here. Oh, okay. Everybody is sleeping and don't even know about all the trouble. Yeah, yeah here we are. Olsen! Olsen, come on, wake up! Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, we in? Uh, no, not all the way. We've run into some grief. Oh, what's the matter? Uh, came made across the Horn River trestle. Come on, get your bulls unloaded, and we've got a long haul ahead. We'll be with you right away. Sounds bad, Bob. Uh, it may be bad. I'm just taking a chance that uh, that little wooden bridge will hold our load. Want me to send Gertie over to test it? Yeah. Oh, so that's how you test the bridge. Oh, hello there, Jerry. I didn't see you standing there in the doorway. Hello, Mr. Olson. <laughs> and Rags. <laughs> hello there, fella. Well, I'll see you down at the Carlson. Hurry it up. Come on, Jerry. Okay, I'll have my herd off in a few minutes. Where are we going now, Mr. Randall? Yeah, we'll go get Paul now and see uh, so that he can get his men out. You mean Paul Murray? Yeah, yeah. So where does he sleep? Right here in this car. Come on, Rags. <laughs> Quiet, Rags. Bark, Jerry. That's as good a way to make, wake up the men as any. Here we are. Paul, come on. Up and at him. Okay, be right with you. Oh, oh it's you, Mr. Randall. Yeah. Well, good morning. Yeah, we're going to have, have to move the show from here, Paul. Uh, where are we? Well, let's see. Uh, why, well, we're not in yet. No, no, we're about 15 miles from town. Can't get across the Horn River Trestle. I'll have to haul in somehow. I'll be dressed in a minute. Get your men up, Paul. See you outside. Okay, boss. Come on, Jerry. I'm right with you, Mr. Randall. Well, the first thing we have to do is to see if that little bridge is strong enough. Aren't you going to wake up everybody now? Oh, no, Jerry. No use getting the performers up yet. Oh, you get them all over the town. Well, send some buses over for them uh, after we all get the equipment moved. Oh, look. Uh, there's Olsen now. Where are you coming, Olsen? I'll have Gertie out in a minute. Hey, Spike. You and uh, Rusty, put up that ramp. They sure work fast, Mr. Randall. Yeah, but we won't have any time to spare, no matter how fast they work today. I'll get dirty now, boss. You're to the baggage dock? Yeah, everybody's awake. All right. Oh, you see Gertie, don't you, Ray? Yeah, here she comes, Jerry. Come on, Gertie. Nice girl. Come on now. That's the way. Come on there. There we are. Hey, Rusty! Yeah? Uh, bring a couple of more of those lanterns. <laughs> okay, boss. Uh, which way, Mr. Randall? Right over here. See oh. the road? Leads right down to that little bridge. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, it's pretty steep grade down there. Yeah, uh, not so steep on the other side, though. That's a help. Quiet, Randy. You can't scare Gertie, and she don't want to see <laughs> Looks like Rags picked on a pretty big playmate. <laughs> easy, girl, now. Come on, take it easy. That's the way. Take your time. Look out. Careful, take your time. Steps, Mr. Randall. Yeah, yeah, she makes pretty sure of her footing uh, when she can't see where she's going. Hmm. Well, there's the bridge. Not a very big one, but I guess you'd call it a bridge. How is Gertie going to test the bridge? Uh, you'll see. Uh, here we are. Come on, Gertie. Easy there now. Easy, girl. Yeah, I think the bridge will take the load okay. It looks pretty strong. Yes, it looks okay, boss. Yeah, you see? There she goes. Gertie's not stopping. What does he mean by that, Mr. Randall? Well, Gertie's the head elephant, Jerry. She won't go across unless she knows it'll take her weight. They sort of feel how strong the thing is as they step along. She wouldn't cross it unless she was absolutely sure of it. Yes, and none of the other elephants will go across if Gertie refuses. You couldn't drive them over. Golly, they sure are smart. Well, you satisfied, Orson? Yep. Yeah, we'll run the herd over now, and if it holds them, we can move the whole show over without any worry. All right. Hey, up there, bring the rest of the bulls down. You up there, Paul? Right. Uh, bring your mess wagons down right after the bulls. You're right on their heels. Here they come. Yeah, well, you and Rags be careful now, Jerry. Keep clear. I'll watch out. Bring them right over, Rusty. All right, here they come, Gertie. Telling them to go across over, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. She's letting them know she got over okay. Yeah, this bridge being here and being strong enough is sure a lifesaver. It'll be a mighty long, tough haul, though. Here comes the first wagon. Mm-hmm. Now, as soon as we get all the mess wagons over, uh, take the bulls back up for the heavy hauling, Olsen. Okay, boss. I'll go along with the first wagon to some place where I can get an automobile. And then go on into town and send some buses back for the performer. Shall I go with you? Oh, no, Jerry, no. You go back up to your car and go to bed for an hour or so. You and Bumps can come over with the rest of the folks in a, in a bus. All right, hold it. Hold that wagon. I'm riding with you. Okay, 
Hey, Lawson. Yeah? Uh, tell Jim Bennett my plans. Tell him to pass the word around. Okay, boss. And you go right up to your car, Jerry, and get out of the way. All right, Mr. Randall, I will. Come on, right. All right, Joe. Jerry, say, that was quite an experience for you last night, wasn't it? Oh, say, golly, Mr. Randall is sure smart, isn't he, Bunch? <laughs> he sure is. I have the first time to see him stump. We won't be so very late, will we? Well, I'm ready to go all now. I mean, the show won't be awful late, will it? Well, now, let's see. Oh, I'd say just about an hour late. Hey, there are lots of folks waiting at the main gate already. Why don't they let them into the menagerie until everything is ready under the big top? Well, I guess that's what's holding them up, Jerry. They just put the last of the animal cages in there a minute ago. Oh, well, Kelly will let them in as soon as they're all set. I bet those razorbacks and hostlers and all the men that worked all night are sure tired. Yeah, to say nothing of the horses and the elephants. Those animals sure did a wonderful job, Jerry. Yeah, and they were sure thirsty this morning. Oh, well, Whitey helped me with the watering. Mm -hmm. Did you have your breakfast? I didn't see you in the mess tent. Sure, I ate early and got right over to the horse <coughs> What's the matter, Ray? Hey, he sees something outside the door. Look at it. It's Johnny Bradley and Schlatz and the hooligan. And there's the bearded lady with them. Yeah. Say, she's all excited about something. I think I'll just step out there and see what's going on. No, Rags, you can't go. You stay right here. I should think you'd have had enough excitement for one day. It isn't every dog gets to see how you did last night. Elephants testing bridges and all that. Why, you're a lucky dog. Yes, you are. And I guess you know it, too. What is it, Bunk? What's the matter? I'll tell you in just a minute, Jerry. Rags, be good now. You see, it looks pretty bad, Jerry. What's the matter? Tell me. Well, you know how much the bearded lady thinks a major might. Yes, yeah, she sure likes him all right. Well, uh, the poor woman is frantic. The major is missing. Missing? What do you mean, Bob? Well, he's the only one not accounted for. They've looked all over for him. Everybody on the lot is looking for him, and, and Mr. Randall is upset about it. But where could he be? Do you think he got lost back of the bridge? Well, I don't know, Jerry, but this is not so good, having Major Mike disappear. 